So apparently a few of you were disappointed that I didn't start my last video off with a joke. Well, here it goes. It could get me cancelled. So, what do you call a disabled man? Alright guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Happy Thursday and I hope you're ready for the latest Legion United transfer news. There isn't a lot of news today, but there is some key news. Close signings on the way. Before we get into it, you know the drill. Let's try and smash 400 likes on this video. Get down there right now and smash a little like. You know, I'll be chuffed as nuts. Also, subscribe if you're new as well. Ten of you have to subscribe so we hit 16,300. I'm going to wait. Seriously, what are you doing? Subscribe. Come on. Also, today, I want you to comment the starting 11 against Pompey this weekend. The season's back in a few days, ladies and gentlemen. Leeds United ready to piss the league. I can't wait. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Leeds United news. Like I said, there isn't a lot of news going around because it's going a bit silent. Is that a good thing? Well, we're going to talk Jonathan Rowe, so hopefully it is a good thing. According to Sky Sports, Leeds United are still negotiating for Jonathan Rowe. They're willing to increase the amount they can pay and get closer to Norwich's valuation. Apparently, there's still been no formal bid but talks with the players the club and all that is going well uh the Norwich manager has said you know Rose training he's sort of professional and he's doing everything you know similar to what Farker said about Somerville he's not going to say no he, he doesn't want to be here is he he's just saying what it is um and listen again this will just be a hell of a signing if Leeds United could make it apparently it's getting close Things are moving and I could I doubt it will happen before Saturday. That would be a really quick turnover if that happened. But it looks like Leeds United's key target of Jonathan Rowe. If Leeds United can pay the money, will soon to be coming into Leeds United. I can't wait for that. I mean, this signing gets me excited. It's giving me the Jaden Bogle sort of fever. I was excited with that man. And uh, similar to Jonathan Rowe, play him on the wings. I'm excited. So, yeah, this is getting close. I think this deal is getting very, very close. And, uh, yeah, we'll be over the moon if this happened. Hopefully, Legion, I do not fumble this one. We just pay what they want and get out of there. I don't think it'll be done before Saturday, but I'm telling you, the deal is getting closer. That's the rumors in and around social media and according to Sky Sports as well. Next up is the man we've been talking about for the last month. It's Rack Saki. He's not coming to Leeds United. Deal is off. Understand that Crystal Palace will add a callback clause in any deal with uh, Rack Saki's loan. He's going on loan to Sheffield United. Sheffield United will pay more than one million in loan fees, and they're paying a hundred percent of his wages. That's meaning QPR, Huddersfield, Leeds United, and Burnley amongst them to lose out on the uh, Crystal Palace man. Again, very, very good player, but it's a very hefty price, the loan fee, paying 100% of his wages, and he's also got a recall clause. So if he starts cooking for that club, Palace want him back in a heartbeat. So I'm not saying we dodged a bullet with the bloke. I think he's a very, very talented player. And look, it seems by how much you know people want him, he's a talented player. But I think the fuss and falling in love with a loan player and all that, I'm kind of glad. And Sheffield United are cooking at the moment. Sheffield United are cooking. They have got some decent additions in. Uh, next up, we're talking Daniel Farker in his interview today. He had a press conference for Post Pompey. Again, this, I can't believe the season's so close. Um, he's basically saying everyone's fit. Everyone's ready to go. Jaden Bogle is ready to go. He's going to start a right back. That's why I really want to know what your guys' starting 11s are because I don't even know what I would do. We've got so many good players, so many key players. All I know is that Ampadu has to start and maybe, I don't know, Dan James. He said he's been really hard on Dan James in, in training, so we could see a revived Dan James. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to get quiet. It's going to get a bit silence while the Jonathan Rowe deal was getting sorted out. But yeah, that deal is very close. But there's no real massive news. Like I said, the only thing is uh, is what we can talk about is the Rack Saki is off. You know, Jonathan Rowe could be coming in, deal very close. Um, also, there was a little bit on Liam Cooper I touched on, or I didn't touch on, sorry. I read about how he hasn't found a club yet. And uh, we're just going to see how that one moves because we could see maybe a contract extension, but there's actually nothing been going on between Leeds United and Liam Cooper. It's gone very quiet between our club captain and the 49ers. So it's a bit of an odd one with, with the Liam Cooper. What would you do? Would you just say goodbye now? I mean, he's got no, I mean, Ampadu's the captain. It looks like he's going, but no one, no clubs really coming in for him. I, I'm, kind, I'm kind of confused with the whole Liam Cooper situation. But yeah, sort of the latest news, guys, is just that Jonathan Rose close to signing. Raksaki's out and the season starts with no new injuries. You know, we're fresh. I'm happy. I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's not a long video, but there's not too much I can tell you. There's not too much I can tell you. If you want me to make some stuff up, I'll do that. But I'm not going to do that for you. But guys, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you know all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with Jonathan Rowe being announced, maybe. 
Who knows? I doubt it, though. But either way, season starts soon. I'm excited. I might try and get out my final predictions tomorrow. If you guys want to see that, smash 400 likes. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Don't know what that noise was. Oh.